latest in the world of tasty treats in our new snack and beverage review. Yeah, well, 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 stay with us. Come on, this is going to be good. Here with us is snack expert Dave Green. Now, Morning, Dave, sir, you, right? you run the website for Snackspot.org. That's right, yes. Okay, and that's the ultimate site for snack and beverage fans, yeah? Uh huh, yeah. I mean, people are really into their snacks. They're like, they email me from all around the world telling me about the latest, I don't know, mint flavoured lemonade. Wow. We haven't got that here today, but this that's is, the kind. I'm going to okay. go to your website after this. This sounds fantastic. Now, we have uh, assembled uh, uh, an expert panel of tasters. <laughs> that is just let you grab them with the kids. But uh, to help us decide which of these new snacks and beverage, beverages should make their way into my lunchbox, which someone has uh, stuck a picture of themselves on, but I've managed to draw on that. Or whether, if they're a load of rubbish, maybe they should go in Ian's bin. That's a good picture, isn't it? That's for the ladies. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, joining us as our taste today, we have Leslie Grantham. He's been giving Katie a hard time all morning, Kate. He just said sorry, though, so I forgive him. Yeah, he's a lovely fellow, really. A little bit rough and tumble. Uh, and also, we've got Rashid. You right, sir? Yeah. yeah. Good work to have you back on the show again. Um, and, of course, uh, Dave, you'll be helping us with this. Today, we're going to be looking at cross-breed snacks, whereby snack boffins in the snack laboratory have blended traditional snacks with unexpected tastes or ingredients. Dave, is this, is this the new trend? Is this where snacks are going? Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> I think so. I mean, pe people are travelling a lot more. They're experiencing the snack cuisines of other countries. Mm. They're expecting to see those new adventurous tastes reflected. What, even the back. foreign muck? Uh, yes. Oh, dear. OK, now, all these products are on the, the cutting edge of snack technology. What's the first product I'll, I'll test as... Oh, let's have a look, actually. I think it's going to be... OK, listen, it's cheese. Oh, go on, Kate. Sorry, I'll I do apologise. It's cheese, but with a fresh, zesty taste of lemon. They're called Scooby-Doo Lemon Squeezy Snacks, and the pack says it's lemon-flavoured squeezy cheese bread with monster face holding Now, the thing, the thing about this is a little bit of construction you have to do here. You get your biscuit base, you get your Scooby-Doo squeezy cheese spread, and that it's looks cheesy vile. cheese and sort of lemon. You squeeze it in like that. Oh, no. And you that put your monster's wrong. face on the top. Now, this is going to be wicked. Look, and watch it when you push it. Oh, it comes out of his eyes! <laughs> like that! Right. Oh, it's just gone out of my lap as well. It's like being a teenager again. Right, let's have a go. I can't try them, sorry. <laughs> Go on. What do you think, Dave? Oh, oh, no. They're all right. I mean, they're very lemony. You can hardly taste the cheese. Hardly any cheese. Rashid? I'm a... Disgusting. Disgusting? <laughs> oh, you... Rashid was thinking, this is great. I'm going to get loads of free sweets and stuff, and we're giving you horrible foods to try. Don't like Not it, Not keen. No. Leslie, what do you think? Well, it's not offensive. It's just a bit like lemon curd, really. Yeah, lemon curd. That's pretty much what it is. I like lemon curd. But Rashid? Lunchbox Oh, yes. Yeah, what do you think, Dave? I'd keep them. I like the biscuit. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like a lemony biscuit. And also, Rashid, do you not think it's a lot of fun? Just making stuff come out of his eyes. It's going to be a lot of fun in these days. Or does he not rate to the PlayStation 2 at all? <laughs> <laughs> you think it should go in the bin? Um, I think by the time you've made it, you'd die of hunger. Right. So that's going to be a, be a bin, is it? I quite liked it, but uh, the majority vote, it goes in Ian's bin. Unfortunate. OK, let's have a look. Got the next snack. Okay, the next new product claims to mix fizz with the smooth, but it does in fact mix fizzy pop with milk. It's called <laughs> it's called Freaky Soda, and it comes in a strange strawberry and odd orange flavour. Now, Dave, what was your favourite flavour in this? Feel free to swig away at this. Oh, like, I mean, the, the thing to do, yeah, have to like test the bouquet on this because it really is quite. Oh, I'll, I'll smell try that. These. I'll try this drink. Okay. This smells lovely. Okay, I've got a strawberry one. I've got. I much preferred the orange uh, on this. I mean. Science has been trying to make Not milk fizzy that. for some time. And if you ever remember the soda stream instructions, yeah. it said never put milk in your soda stream. Yeah, never, never do it. No idea what happened. It doesn't make oh, much so of the milk on here. Rashid, can you taste the milk in that? I can. Tastes like a fizzy do, milkshake. Do, do, you, do you like that? Yeah. It's kind of nice. Is it? Do you, how does it compare with other drinks? Better. Better than other drinks. You that's got to that be a box, thumbs up. You? That's got to be a thumbs up. Yeah, Leslie, how does this finished. compare to other drinks? Well, is it better? Well, no, it's OK. I mean, it's just something I wouldn't drink, you know, you don't... <laughs> but I just imagine Leslie Grantham going into the news and says, can I have one of those um, strawberry freaky sodas, please? <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah, I'm going to be back in EastEnders. I just, um, think, I just think that if, if you didn't know there was milk in it, yeah. um, I think that's what's going to put people off, yeah. knowing it is fizzy milk. If you yeah. just sold it as a freaky soda, or whatever it's called... Well, what do we think? Leslie, should this go in the bin or in my lunchbox? Unfortunately, I think it should go in the bin because I'm not a, gra Ooh, I'm not a great believer in and kids having all these sort of naff... But Dave and Rashid think lunchbox, yeah? I think lunchbox. Because it's got milk and that's yeah. healthy. It is healthy. Oh, it's I going in Ian's lunchbox. Oh, hang on. How healthy is it if it's got milk in it? It must be ultra heat. Oh, oh shut up. Oh, that's right, Excuse me. A solution to that age-old problem, not being able to choose between crisps or ice cream, snack boffins have come up with vanilla-flavoured ice cream 
Monster Munch. Yes. Now, I'm not convinced by this one. Who would have thought this would be so controversial? 27 pence off. a pack. Oh, who thought this would kick off? You, it's kicking off, isn't it? It is. OK, here we go. <laughs> try, try your crisps. I'm not convinced. Leslie's pulling her face. You're not kidding. It tastes like sour milk. You take mine, one tastes like milk that's gone I off. I can't try them. I think I'd vomit. Try one, seriously. No, I, I want to see you vomit. I'll tell him. The I've got to admit. The aftertaste is like milk that's just gone off. Right. I've got to admit. I'm not, you've got some chocolate sauce I've there. got some chocolate sauce. You've got to think of it as not, it's not a savoury snack, it's a sweet snack. Right. It's like a breakfast cereal, and vanilla, vanilla is the big taste for this year. Really? Like, but vanilla, vanilla coke. Vanilla is the new ice cream. <laughs> it is. Ooh. It is. Vanilla is the new chocolate. You're going to see vanilla. Rashid, what do you think of those? Horrible. Do you think they're horrible? Stick with me, kid. You'll get. get they're going Ooh, in don't the bin. Don't go near him. They're going in the bin. Costs. Now listen, I'll well, like... Wait, 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 that are crisps. Go on. No, I can't. Oh, okay. no. But they're not real worms. They're not real worms, are they? They're not real worms. They're real worms. They're real dried worms. Um, they're cheddar cheese flavour. They look like They're meal worms. Now, these are some... I was put off by these. They're, so they're right. You look like you're eating maggots. You, you they probably use those in I'm a Celebrity. Rashid, what do you think? Eating worms, surely that's got to be good, isn't it? Just, just don't imagine they're worse. Sorry. Don't imagine they're worse. Don't they imagine like... this is dog poo. <laughs> it is chicken. In a different... No, I'm sorry. It's if, if you don't... Cool. What you missed there, sorry, was that Dave tried to pass it on to Rashid and Rashid just went... <laughs> <laughs> He's not keen. Good work. It's because they the look like maggots. Lizzie, oh, what do you think of the taste? Surprise I haven't tasted them. I have no... There is no danger of me ever <laughs> tasting them. You've got more chance of me being nice to Well, cake. listen, I'm going to say, because I think these are actually all right, these are going to go in my lunchbox of cheddar flavour worm crisp. Yeah, yeah, it's, co it's controversial, but I'm doing it. Whatever you lot say, whatever you lot say, they're in there. Fantastic. Listen, thank you very much for that judging. I would have thought that would ever kick off like that. But that's my lunch sorted out for today, gang, and I shall be enjoying that later on. Now, after the break, Dougie will be sifting through the best of tonight's telly, and we'll be taking your calls for Leslie Grantham, but he might be a little bit rude here. We'll see you in two minutes. <laughs> It all started in 1950s America, where mass production meant that chicken was cheap and plentiful. The chickens are coming! The chickens are coming! When you're talking about chicken in fast food, everyone thinks of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Harlan Sanders had like been producing fried chicken, uh, which is a, a, a southern delicacy uh, in Kentucky, for most of his life. While Sanders was working in a gas station in Corbin, Kentucky, he hit on the idea of selling his chicken to passers-by who loved his special recipe. It wasn't until he was uh, 65 that he franchised it as Ken.